emphasis. First of all, let me say without fear or equivocation that any movement that burns tiki torches but doesn't serve Mai Tais is clearly on the wrong track. Also, there's the whole hateful racist dirtbag thing that's not so good either. Secondly, in their latest rally, many of these white supremacists were chanting, Jews will not replace us. If that's true, it's a tremendous disappointment. After all, if we could replace white supremacists with Jews, the IQ of the country would rise dramatically, and more people would be doctors and lawyers, instead of sitting around in their mother's basements, pleasuring themselves while staring at pictures of Hitler and calling it date night. So, if they really cared about this country, I believe the white supremacists would rethink their Jews will not replace us philosophy and maybe change their slogan to, please replace us with Jews as quickly as possible. And here's another thing. This Hitler character these white supremacists are so fond of, I'm not sure he was as great a guy as they think he was. I mean, sure, he was a creepy little lunatic who caused the needless deaths of over 60 million people, but his career wasn't all roses. After all, the man promised Germany a thousand-year Reich and instead turned the place into a rubble-strewn vacant lot, so it's not exactly a success story. Maybe instead of waving those swastika flags of theirs, the white supremacists should wave flags that say, let's give a big ixnay to the whole Nazi business so we don't kill everyone and destroy the country like Hitler did. Hopefully they'll be smart enough to do that after we replace them with Jews. And now let's talk about blacks. I hear some people saying, okay, black men and women are among the most talented artists and athletes our country has produced. Blacks have been great thinkers like Thomas Sowell and world-renowned statesmen like Martin Luther King. But some of these radical black protesters are violent racist dirtbags themselves. So why can't white people be violent racist dirtbags too? Well, I think the white supremacists have proved that white people can indeed be violent racist dirtbags. So congratulations, white people. If I understand this philosophy right, white supremacists feel that white people are the best people ever. And in fact, I can think of many white people I admire very much. Isaac Newton was a good one. William Shakespeare. And I'm very fond of my wife as well. After all, Newton invented science and Shakespeare created great literature. And my wife is one of the nicest people you could meet. So that makes white people look pretty good. Unfortunately, when you add in a bunch of white people carrying swastikas and chanting hateful racist garbage, it lowers the white person average until we're no better than anyone else. So, in conclusion, if white supremacists want to make the white race supreme, they should stop being white supremacists. Although I'd still prefer to replace them with Jews. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.